and when drawing the object, try to pay attention to the details. Importantly, I noticed that um, some of you draw with your wrist. Do not draw with your wrist. Draw with your arm. Use your whole arm when drawing and How may I help you? How may I help you? Young man, I repeat, how may I help you? Young man, I'm talking to you. How may I help you? Every problem can always find solution at the table of discourse. Do you summon your husband to a judgment seat? What? Well, someone is always either for the accused or the victim. She's a wife and I'm not your student. Will you come out of your shell and speak like a man you claim to be? You barged into my class without manners and now you have the guts to remind me that you're not a student. Really. It's not your fault. Who would meet? Young man! Come back here! Salatu. Habba. How did you get to the extent of marrying such a man? He won't understand. I had no choice than to marry him. I was helpless in an IDP camp after losing my mother to the insurgent. She was my strength. Then, my dear, you should have suspended the idea of coming to school and face him. My mom supported my ambition to go to school. I had a life and it was beautiful. Unfortunately, when Boko Haram came and raided our village, they they slaughtered her because she refused to surrender my father to them. <laughs> so we managed to escape to Meduguri. And this life turned for the worst. But he enrolled you in school, right? Why is he suddenly turning this difficult? <laughs> I wish he did. They came to share relief materials at the camp. And he couldn't take his eyes off me. We got talking, but before then, the new Nigerian NGO had already paid for my first year fees. He even swore to the NGO to train me in school. And this is what I get. So, the angel married you out? No. As soon as he met my father, he promised heaven and earth. And my father begged me to marry him. Then, quit the marriage. What? Yes. Quit the marriage. Tope, we don't quit marriage. I can't even try that. It's an abomination.
So you're back to school again? Hmm? Just look at you. You're just in part one. And the pride that comes to school is all over you. But I didn't. Keep Alison. quiet. You reported me to your lecturer. Your woman for that matter. Let me ask you. Did your mother go to school? Okay. You want to be educated. So that you can start rubbing shoulders with me. But you agreed to help me for school. You ask senseless questions. Why didn't that end you? Get you a house, eh? Imagine their stupidity. Sending a homeless girl to school. Okay. We will see who is the man in the house. You don't have to cry in school. It's okay. Wipe those tears, okay? It's okay. I guess you should talk to your father. Maybe he will caution him. I've tried it. It's not working. Then I guess you should come to my house and spend the night. Then from there, we'll know what next to do. I wish I'm not pregnant. Wow, really? Pregnant? Then he will come looking for you. Let's go to my house. It's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go to my house. Hmm? It's alright. Cheer up, okay? okay. Babe, it was such a nice time. Um, hope you can do that again pretty soon. And when am I getting the money? Baby, which money? Excuse me. Hey. I don't like the way you ask questions. As if I'm saying it for the first time. Let me ask you, am I asking for too much? Huh? Uh. Just money for my practicals. Four tickets for my ten paper. Eight tickets to buy some books. Simple 30k to make some soup and 200k for my result reconciliation. Is that too much to ask of you? Eh? That's too much now. It's too much. Just about simple 350k. It's not too much for my education. I'm not asking for money for Brazilian hair. I'm not asking for money to buy some clothes or change my wardrobe. But for my education, and you are here. Making noise, complaining. I don't blame you. Hmm? If you don't get me that money, don't ever in your lifetime dial my number or talk to me. Baby, it's okay, please. Come. Come. Wait now. Yeah. Chichi. Chichi. Baby, baby, please now. Come now. Baby. Come on now. Baby, let's talk. Baby. Chichi. Come now, Abachichi. coming from? Hmm?
Where did you sleep last night? Salatu. Why? What is wrong with you? Have you sold your soul to the devil? What is cool compared to your life or that of your siblings? I've warned you times with that number, but you will listen. He chases you out of that house. You still come back and meet me in the IDB camp. And be sharing my own food with me. But remember, those sharing the food has to be satisfied before we eat. We only manage what has been given to us. in this carriage. Couple with some complications. Chichi, I know we are all students, but please, if you can assist me with 5k, I would definitely pay you back. <laughs> How can a university girl take in in the first place? She should have known of protection and how to make use of it. No, Chichi. This is beyond protection. And she's legally married. And has every right to get pregnant. Legally married, you say? 
Yes. And you are here sourcing for money to help a married woman. <laughs> I think you have to reason carefully before exposing your naivety. Chichi, you don't have to sound that arrogant. What is arrogance about a man taking care of his wife's needs? If she is married, let the man be in charge. Excuse me. You sit down here, pretending to be a saint, when you are worse than the stupid girls you teach. Okay. Anyway, I don't blame you. Rather, I blame the people that gave you the job to stitch stubborn girls like Salatu. Okay, I see. This is what you expect when you send women to school. Ego, stubbornness, insult, and most especially prostitution. Madam Lecturer, where did you send my wife to last night? Is that why you beat her up to the extent of having a miscarriage? You have a wife. You don't want her to go to school. You beat her up. She loses a pregnancy. And if she dies, you marry another one. You can call me names if you want to. But Salatu is one of our very best students here and she's learning fast. On the other hand, I am a very fulfilled woman with total support from my husband. And that has not stopped me from cooking or serving him. My husband is actually thinking of sending me for higher degrees and conferences. You can continue beating her up if you want to. That's up to you. But we, we are watching and waiting. Pregnant. Madam Lecturer, do you see he's dead? Do you understand grammar? Young man, I said if she dies. Well, unless you're planning to kill her yourself. We're watching and waiting. She's okay now. But the only problem we have is there's a complication with her uterus and her intestinal tract.
once the drip is finished, you can take her home. But in the meantime, I'll refer her to a specialist hospital where they run an intensive checkup on her. Have a good day. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much, Doctor. Don't bother, okay? Don't worry, it's nothing. Okay. Meanwhile, um, let me call my guy to come and pick us up. Hello? She baby. Hello, baby. Where are you? My friend is in the hospital. She's very weak and cannot walk. Can you come and pick us up? Which clinic? School clinic. Don't worry, I'll be there shortly. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. 